Hi everyone, this is Anne Marie. Um, this is about conditional orders that you can set for silver, gold, and platinum levels. I am going to do a couple of these videos, but for right now, conditional orders is where we're going to sit and we're going to take a look at them really specifically in terms of how to create them and how to use them overall. We're going to start with the simplest formation and you can use this in both the silver and the gold setups. Here's what we're going to use. We are going to use um, the UPS long trade. This one actually may trigger tomorrow, so it's going to be pretty interesting having us set it up. It's a long above 8321, targets 8381, 8429, stop below 8284, recommending the 8250 calls, number of them five, probably because they're close to a dollar. It seems that um, that's going to be uh, because these things are set for 500 uh, dollars per trade. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell three at 83.81. We're going to shift the stop up to break even. What does that mean? If I trade above 83.21 and I get to 83.81, my stop, which was at 82.84, is going to shift up to 83.21. Initiate a trailing stop above 83.95. That means that after this has breached this first target level, you, you have the opportunity to set a trailing stop. Advanced Strategies says, hey, listen, this looks really good, but at 83.44, we have a little bit of trouble. I believe that was actually taken care of today. So tomorrow, when you see this bullish uh, platform, you will not see this warning here because I believe the wave formations took care of that. So let's take a look at that. All right. So here we are at UPS, and it says we need to consider the weeklies. Here they are. Now, you can use this for both the silver and the gold. Very simple, by custom with OCO bracket. OCO means one cancels the other. So here's what we're going to do. First one, we're going to buy five, because that's what's recommended. We're going to do it at market when the stock gets above 83.21. All right. Time in force, good till cancel. That means if it doesn't trigger today, it might trigger tomorrow, and you don't have to worry about it then. Okay, here's the stop. If the wheels come off and we got to get out of this trade, it's going to be below 82.84. All right, so let's estimate what kind of loss we might see at 82.84. Our current delta is 61. The difference between our entry price, which would be 83.21, and the stop is 16, 37 cents away, right? So 61% of 37 cents is going to give us the approximate loss threshold. So that looks like, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 maybe 30 cents, 28 cents. That's how much we're going to lose on this option if we fall into the stop. That's how you do that approximation. The next one is, hey, what do we do when we get to our target? Now, the gold membership is particularly fond of this particular approach. A trailing stop you get to decide how much that is, right? I'm not a super fan of the trailing stop, uh, especially in these kinds of markets. I know in the silver membership, I will trade to stock price level. But if you like the trailing stop, and some of you do, set one. Maybe it's 15 cents. That's a lot. 15, five, 15 times 5 is 75. So here, if this moves downward 15 cents, you're going to lose 75 bucks off of whatever it is that you've got as your gains. All right. But the trailing stop does not begin until we get to our first target, 
81. Now, it could also be that uh, the movement up into 8390 uh, is going to give us the space we want to have the trailing stop. But ideally, the trailing stop s begins at the target range and allows us to move up as the stock moves up, we go with it. All right, that's all there is to that. All right, that's the nice, easy, clean way to set these orders up if you do not want to look at them and you do not want to manage them, you just want them to go. That's exactly how you do it. Now, if indeed you want to manage these formations, here's another way that you can put these orders in. You could go here. This is your first one. Going to buy the five. This remains the same. Stock price gets the mark gets above 83.21. All right, good till cancel. OK, now we want to sell it, right? We're going to have first triggers OCO. All right, so now we want to sell it. We're going to put our stop right here. We're going to have five. And then when the stock gets below 82, 84, we're going to get stopped out. Now the last piece is a little bit different. If you're in the silver membership, what you're going to have is a staggered exit. So you might want to sell two of those or three of those at market when the stock gets into its first target. What this does is allow us to capture profit that is sitting there that we can take advantage of. But it also allows us to be exposed to more profit as we move up. Now what this does, because it's first triggers OCO, we either get stopped out or three of them get stopped out at our first target. All right, now you can also put those three on a trailing stop. You can do it exactly the same way, whatever amount you want to use, for the same thing, and those three instead go into a trailing stop, and they carry on up with the rest of the charts. The last two you'll be looking at openly. You'll be saying, all right, I've got these. I'm going to see where they're going. I'm going to watch the price charts and I'm going to use them like that. What it does is give you a level of flexibility. You take immediate profit off of the table and then you're left with a couple of options that can go into the expansion spaces. All right, now that's how you set up these conditional orders. They are very straightforward, but it depends what you want to do and how actively you want to manage your trades that determines how it is you're going to sell these. Now there are certain triggers that you could go in sequence, right? You could say first trigger sequence, but that would be after you set up the stop event right here. Okay, so you do first trigger sequence for the stop event and then you would go back and say uh, first trigger sequence for the rest of these trades. All right, hopefully that makes good sense to you. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. It took me forever to move through a nice simple cycle here, but this is exactly how it works. Whether you are in the silver or the gold membership, you are going to be using these particular formations. With the platinum membership, you can also do the same thing, but see, in my mind, here's the thing I want to talk to you about here. When you're looking at the Platinum Membership, and we've got all these trades to look at, right? The best thing for you to do is to say, and you can use your view to zoom in here to make these a little bit bigger so that you can see them. But what you need to do is just say, hey, listen, I'm just going to look at a couple of these. I'm going to follow a couple of these, and that's all. Most all of them are exceptionally good 
every single day. All right? This is something that I've been doing this in my head forever. Just started writing it down in the last few months, and it is just a really very straightforward thing. These trades just run like clockwork. Here's what you need to know. If it triggers long and it gets stopped out and it pulls back into the space and gives you the long trigger again, the key thing to look at, if it's a long, say, wait, did I make a higher low in the overall rotation? If that answer is yes, re-enter. This long, just because it blew out the first time, doesn't mean it's going to blow out the second time. Same thing with the short. You want to make sure that you did not make a higher high, but you made a lower high. If it triggers into the short, then you can reassess it. If something goes long and then closes, and then the trigger to go short opens, you can do that as well. For instance, Whirlpool triggered short. It triggered short on a great big candlestick move down. Folks, those are always suspect. But it recovered very nicely, came right into the stop. Pay attention to your stops. It stopped out at 114.29. The long says get long at 114.40. So you get long. Don't think, wow, that stopped out. This is a bad trade. Blah. Don't let your brain go into any spaces except act exactly the way the charts tell you to. All right, that's it for that. A little bit longer than I wanted, but I have been trying to videotape, record this for three hours, literally, one after the other, over and over and over again. And so finally, this is what I've come with, and I really don't even want to leave you this diatribe in the end, but I am. So there you have it. Hopefully it works, and I will be adding videos consistently as we work through getting a better handle on this. The next video I'm going to do right after this one are the do's and don'ts. So make sure you see that one.